we're going to say that this is the village of Sayward respectfully acknowledges that we're gathered on the land in the unceded traditional territory of the Comox First Nations, the traditional keepers of this land. We're going to call the meeting to order. Interdictions of late item. Number one is we're going to go in camera under Labor Relations Section 90-I. At the end of the meeting, any objections? We're also going to remove from the agenda. No, I do that on number three. Sorry, we're going to introduce um, the letter from Sayward Futures under correspondence. And that's it for the late items. The approval of agenda as amended. Is that the agenda for the Committee of the Whole as amended meeting for Council of December 13th, 2022 be approved? Do I have a motion, please? I'll move that. Second? I'll second that. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? None. Carried. Petition and delegations? Is none. Correspondence. The new correspondence from Sabred Futures. This is just basically stating that they are going to be at the gazebo and setting up around 3.30. They're going to do a cost recovery and not a fundraiser. So whatever the cost is of their of their food and that is going to be on there. But they'll set up and they'll use the gazebo, the water, the power, so on and so forth. So recommended resolution to accept the correspondence. It's a motion. I'll move that. Second. I'll second that. Discussion? Just haven't had time to read this letter, so I just wanted okay. to. Is that right in your eyes, Tom? You know what? It's really close now and it doesn't. You want us to move the table? Okay. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Good. Okay, discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Hearing none. Carried. Reports of council reports, none. Reports of committees, none. Unfinished business, none. We're moving the orientation binder to, I believe, which is January 3rd. Yeah, it is. Council meeting, 2023. As you know, Mr. France is under the weather. He is going to be joining us, however, for the in-camera portion regarding the contract. I can say that, right? Sure, I did. There we go. Okay, so um, B, dress code. Okay, so for dress code, let's have a discussion. <laughs> Yeah, we can't, sure. Do I have a motion? To receive the Committee of the Whole, receive the Council Dress Code staff report for information and discussion. I'll move that. Second. Discussion? Here we go. Okay, so everybody had the chance to go through this and read it. Any questions? No. So this um, states for council meetings, but it does not state cows. Doesn't matter. Could be all meetings. Okay. Go ahead, Councillor Prashant. Yeah, so how would this apply for field trips, say, if you're going out uh, in the forest with... Uh... You have to wear a suit. If you, 
and high heels. A nice fluffy blouse would be nice. Uh, no, I mean, this is for council meetings. Mm -hmm. When you're, um, one of the things Board that's important. says meetings with the public. Well, what we're talking about is public agenda meetings. Like, okay. Okay, that yeah. type of thing. Yep. When we're doing um, professional teams, like for example, when we're doing um, things like uh, interviewing, right? That should be something that we should be always wearing a collared shirt, uh, not t-shirts. I mean, nobody can see from below, so that's fine. No baseball caps. It's it's basically professional business casual. That's really what it is. Anybody have any concerns with Councillor Tinsley? Just to look at the wording here, I would just suggest that we focus on the business, business casual. It has to wear business attire during council meetings or business casual attire for meetings with the public. So I would suggest for all, like just be business ca casual during council meetings and a attire for meetings with the public. Like I'm just confused. Yeah, with the business no, I don't have a problem with that. It does should that be, make sense? Just to clarify. It does. When, all, uh, yeah. Do we need to be more detailed and put in collared shirts? Or is that necessary? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, sorry. Elsa Polson. Yes, I have a few concerns about this. Um, uh, the list of clothing and footwear that is there is um, has changed a lot over the business casual has changed a lot over the years and you often see men wearing suits with uh, running shoes or sneakers or whatever and sometimes the sneakers cost a lot more than a pair of Walmart running shoes so I I can understand sweatpants, team jerseys, hats, um, some jeans are classified as dress jeans. So I, I, I really have a problem with listing specifics in what is um, business casual. Um, I remember that movie where the guy um, had a plot, had gotten this job and someone stole his shoes from the evening when he was sleeping at the, at the, uh, uh, what do you call those places? And he went to work the next morning with his suit on and bare feet. So, um, and he, he wasn't fired from his job, but I just like to say that I think we're all adults. Um, we all, use common sense in what we're dressing and um, I think the cost of having specifying what people have to wear is um, it's a little it's inconvenient and I'm not so sure that we need a written dress code. Well I, I appreciate your thoughts. I completely disagree. Mm -hmm. I think when you're in this environment, you need to dress professionally. You are you're mm -hmm. representing the village to the public and so on and so forth. I think, yes, I have jeans that are two hundred and fifty dollars, but however, they're still jeans. When you're doing a professional meeting, you should be dressed accordingly. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, and you do have to put it in writing because we have had in the past and we may have in the future somebody not dressing appropriately for our meetings. So if it's in black and white, there is no gray area. When they say mm -hmm. no flip flops, that's no flip flops. When they say no jeans, it's no jeans, whether they're designer or not. You need to keep you need to maintain a professional look. When you're dealing in this environment, go ahead, Councillor Tinsley. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, so relative to Councillor Paulson's um, concerns, um, I would just suggest that, um, like I'm comfortable with all this. Uh, I agree with the comments. We uh, uh, leaders in the community, people who are uh, looking to people who are making decisions for the community need to be dressed appropriately. I think these are reasonable um, dress uh, considerations um, very common and totally agree that there are some 
very expensive things out there that the average public would not necessarily know that they're worth two hundred fifty dollars until instead of my two dollar jeans that I sometimes wear. Um, uh, so uh, I would just suggest that we add uh, like I'm comfortable with this. I would just suggest that we add. Um, if this is appropriate, uh, an exception for rare incidences where an individual has come from, for instance, a construction job or whatever, and is unable to uh, accommodate the uh, the need for whatever reason, uh, because that has occurred once before. That's just an idea. But otherwise, I'm totally comfortable with it. Thank you. But th I think under those circumstances, um, nobody would fault or or send somebody home to change if they were coming from an extenuating circumstance, right? But I think uh, as a rule, you keep Councillor Bruchette. No, sorry, you had to wave him. Go ahead. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, jeans struck in from this list. Um, you can have dress jeans that go with a suit jacket. I, I picked up my jeans to match one of my suit jackets, my sport jacket, which I would go into any boardroom or any public event and, and with the, the right shoes still be business casual. Uh, maybe denim blue jeans or something of a description that verifies that, you know, that's a work jean. But I think that uh, like Councillor Paulson said, there's different kind of genres of dress code. And I mean, you need, do need to address for success and present yourself professionally. And if that's a problem, that should be addressed. But to say you can't wear jeans, well, what if these were black jeans and you couldn't even tell that they were jeans based on the material? So I think that maybe that should be stricken from the list. Uh, everything else uh, I, I'm in favor of. Okay, thank you. Councillor Gilkin? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I do agree with uh, Councillor Burchette on the jean, although I don't wear jeans. I do, I never have. I wore khakis, which I wouldn't wear here, but I do have one nice pair of jeans that do fit this jacket, which I mean, Sorry, throw my stuff at it. Hey, go ahead. And I do, I do think that with today's kind of turning world, people are. I know we're here to represent the village and and whatnot and policy making, but the world is changing. I mean, you see all these federal politicians that are walking around with shoot like sneakers and in a meeting. And, well, yeah, well, and out campaigning once in a while. Not not at a regular meeting, not at a board meeting or or. Um, in chamber yeah I they, guess that's right in yeah. chamber they're never in jeans well yeah you're right i guess but what about golf hats is that accepts <laughs> excuse me golf hat you know the visor what do you think yeah i think hats are pretty well described well it's a half hat no <laughs> yeah super shed and in with regards to the dress code, um, where does it start? Where does it stop? What if uh, I wanted to come in with a red mohawk or something that some people might perceive to be unacceptable, but in a lot of genres that is acceptable. I mean, facial piercings, the like. So the, the whole uh, governing of a dress code, I mean, I think that if there's an issue with how we presented ourselves, that could be addressed individually versus a blanket dress code mandated by law so, I mean, I don't see a problem with the way any of us dress here. I mean, young Cohen and, and I came in with suit and ties our first day, and we had the discussion that this is how we want to present ourselves professionally. And so I feel that if that is, criteria is being met, then, you know, having a dress code, black and white, I mean, there should be some interpretation of that, some leeway. This is not directed at this council. So let me be clear. Okay, this is not because we've got you to dress inappropriately to come to meetings. Okay, that has nothing to do with it. What we're doing is we're with the dress code. One of the things, and you're saying address it individually, but if it's not in here, you have no authority to dress it individually. Do you understand what I'm saying? If it's not in here and somebody says, and, yeah, and, I, and I as the mayor go to them and say, I'm sorry, you're dressed inappropriately, they're going to go, well, in the code of conduct, it doesn't state that, right? So if it's not written, it cannot be addressed. 
Go ahead, Councilor Tinsley. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can I make a suggestion? I think we're all in agreement with everything except genes. So if everyone accepts the other ones, like I agree there has to be some uh, black and white guidance. Um, I'm happy to say uh, accept everything else, except genes, refine it to um, Two hundred fifty and three hundred dollars above. You know, I'm just yeah. But I'm how, just kidding. How, how uh, do you how do you know what is somebody might consider? It? I know. I, mean, I, like I know. It's just a joke. No, no, no. Yeah. Here you see somebody dressed up for Saturday night, and they're in a nice new pair of Carhartts. Car. What is it? Carhartt pants. Work pants. That's not jeans, though. So. No, but you're not getting. Yeah, what I'm I, saying I is what their going, interpretation yeah. of dressed up. Yeah. So that's why clearly defined. So when you put in here dress jeans, how do you how do you say everybody understands what dress jeans are? So my suggestion would be remove jeans and go with the rest of the list because we're all sitting down. I don't know what everyone's wearing. Hopefully they're wearing pants. You know, it's like mm. right. But just leave it out. I completely disagree. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. I find it um, difficult to accept a, um, a dress code for council um, when it, the, the code of conduct talks to um, being professional and um, attending the meetings. I have a hard time um, agreeing with a with a dress code that is based on what happened in previous councils or what. And um, I know in previous councils there were um, some problems with with dress code and those were addressed privately. But I think um, writing something into a bylaw um, is restrictive and if you look around at all these pictures in here with no um, dress code bylaw um, I don't see that there's a problem with people grown people responsible people um, having to have a, a dress code imposed you you would and I'm not in favor of it Understood. Um, regretfully, we had a few incidents on the last term where dress code was an issue. And there's nothing to say that in the future, after this term is done, that the next council won't have problems with dress code either. We did have issues. This addresses that issue to where the mayor has the authority at that point to say, you're not following dress code. Please leave the meeting, go change or what have you. Because we have had issues and that's why this is being addressed. This is not a punishment to to the new people on board. And quite frankly, um, I don't think anybody here has an issue other than yourself with that of us being dressed appropriately and being professionally dressed. Just, I'm sorry. <laughs> but go ahead. We're just having a discussion. Uh, yeah, point of order. What? CFO. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So um, I, gu I guess to procedural wise, to move the issue along, um, anybody at the council table is entitled to make a motion and then vote on it. So when things like this come up and and everyone's sort of, you know, discussing it and we're, nobody's really sure what to do, um, somebody can make a motion that council implement a dress code, have a vote on it. And can then we and vote? You, you can recommend it to council. So you Different can make a, meeting. yes, you can make a recommendation to council. So uh, the motion would be something like that. The committee of the whole, I would like to motion that the Committee of the Whole recommend to Council that a dress code be implemented. You would take a vote. If that passes, then you can move to another resolution. I, I would like to make a motion that the Committee of the Whole uh, does not include jeans in the dress code. 
So it's just it's to move things along. You actually start taking votes on things. Okay. Um, just just a yep. suggestion. Nope. Thank that you. Sounds good. OK, so a motion to accept a dress code to be. Sorry, Councillor Polson. I would like to say that it moves beyond discussion when um, I'm told by the mayor that he believes that everybody else is in favor of this motion except me. And I think that's totally inappropriate. I'm sorry I you just, took that in that fashion. That wasn't that wasn't an insult or anything else at all. It was You're, received as uh, and I apologize for you receiving it in that fashion. Councilor Brichette. Yeah, just looking at this list here, um, it's a very, very male oriented list, and I, I can't give much discussion to what lengths of dress you should wear, what kind of dress you should wear. So um, I think this should be revisited and maybe reevaluated. I'm in favor of hats, jerseys, sweatpants, t-shirts, sneakers, flip-flops, but it, it's still a, a male oriented list of things. And, you know, that's my take on that. And yeah, I think we're okay. So let's do a motion. I make a motion that we recommend a dress code to be implemented at the next council meeting. Added to the code of conduct. Do I have a, I have a motion, please? Second? I'll move that. Second? I'll second that. Further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Okay. Next resolution is that we look at whether or not jeans should be included in that recommendation in the dress code. Pardon me for the code of conduct. Um, excuse me, Mr. Fair. Am I muted or am I at the meeting? I thought you were just coming in for the in camera. You're here. Oh, good. I wasn't sure because it's technology. Um, just a reminder that uh, every resolution should be a recommendation to council to consider. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. Voice from above. That the recommended that we recommend to council that genes be revisited and definition of. Are are we keeping jeans? Like, how do you word that? No. Yeah, no. Uh, the CEO suggested that we make two separate motions. One, oh. two, one on the jeans. Say we're going to do the dress code. That's correct. So there's two separate motions she suggested that we make. Go ahead, Councilor Brichette. So again, um. To discuss this, uh, so what stops myself from wearing a short, short skirt that might be offensive to people? I don't know where you're going with this. It's it's, it's just the the dress code. I mean, the, it's like I said, it's very male oriented, and I it, it's yeah, I'm having a hard time understanding, you know, all faucets of having a dress code other than maybe there's things we shouldn't wear, but I. I don't think it's just male oriented. I mean, when you look at jeans, hats, team jerseys, sweatpants, t-shirts, sneakers, and flip-flops, male and female do wear that, do they not? Yeah, but hypothetically, there's nothing about dresses or length of dress. Okay, so do you want to make, um, did you want to add something to there in terms of? No, I don't, and uh, yeah. Okay, I so think let's it... discuss, we'll do that at the next meeting, as Councillor Polson has po pointed out. It's a question not whether or not we're keeping jeans as a recommendation at the next meeting. Anybody want to go ahead, Councillor Tinsley? Uh, thank you. And uh, per Councillor Burchette's points, very valid. Whether there's other considerations around um, things that uh, female people would wear. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so we'll move that to the January 3rd. Did we do the all in favor and all that? CO? We're just moving, so we don't have to make a motion. Okay. Mr. Mayor, can I just uh, say a couple of little words? Sure. 
Um, it just keep in mind, Council, that this is a recommendation to Council, which means it can be fully debated at the next meeting. OK, thank you. OK. Next. Uh, the code of conduct. Recommended resolution that the committee of the whole receive the code of conduct bylaw and staff report. Pardon me. Yeah, bylaw staff report for information and discussion. Do I have a motion, please? I'll move that. Second. I'll second that. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Seeing none, carried. D, count. Okay, thank you. And the code of conduct. Are you referring to the code of conduct or? OK, page seven. There we go. Thank you. Councilor Burchette. Yeah, I have a recommendation here under part uh, part three uh, meeting preparations. Uh, council must not attend meetings under the influence of cannabis, alcohol and other controlled substances where those substances can affect the decision making process. Uh, what if uh, there's a person that has a Health Canada medical marijuana uh, prescription or on to manage pain? Um, I think that that might prove to be uh, a legal issue at some point if if a person, not saying myself, but say a person has that, something that you might want to or we might want to look at legal advice to for that. It's just like saying someone can't take their pain medication that's legal or prescribed by a doctor. Councillor Chensley. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, to uh, Councillor Burchette's uh, point, um, a very good point. Uh, most people who are taking um, uh, that substance, uh, marijuana, for pain, it's the CBD version, which doesn't create a high effect. So I believe what we're concerned about here is a high effect that will eff affect mental influence uh, or, or judgment. Um, so my suggestion would be that relative to that, um, it it be reflected in de in the details that it be uh, uh, something like only for pain control, CBD versus um, the other, right? Uh, anyway, that's my thoughts, thing. Councilor Brichette. Yeah, maybe a non psychoactive would be a better. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, I, I I'm in favor of not being under the influence, being in chambers, but I just think there might be a legal issue there that we need to look at. Cao, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Um, I, I tend to agree if there's a medical reason for having it, but I think I'm going to say, um, well, I know I'm going to say. Um, Look, there's going to be instances where someone has to have medical mar marijuana to address their pain. I think that they also have to understand that if they're totally I'm going to use the word bonkers, you know, to the point where they cannot function, they should not come to the meeting. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, regardless of whether you have uh, marijuana for medical purpose, there's absolutely no point in coming to a meeting completely inebriated or completely um, stoned and i don't think the the wording says i think it says something to the effect that it affects your decision making abilities it doesn't say nothing right. at all it just says you know there's a limit really that's what it's in, implying and and i think you just basically have to police that i mean at the end of the day i think most people would understand um that you don't come completely off the end as it were uh, when you're attending meetings, you have to be functional. And if you're not functional, well, they, then you shouldn't be at the meeting. Thank you. Councillor Brichette. Yeah, and again, who would be policing that? Who would be the judgment of someone's sobriety or level of, say, CBD or marijuana intoxication? That could be, again, an issue or a legal issue. So might want to address that and how this gets written up. If I hey, may. Thank you. If I may. You Mr. may. 
I, I think as a council as a whole, you're going to figure out who is um, who's beyond what the policy is considering. And at that time, you deal with it. I, I have never been to my meeting, a meeting in the 20 years. OK, I'll take that back. There was some meetings in Sayward uh, uh, where we had yeah, one particular council. Was. <clears throat> but other than that, I've never and uh, seen it. And uh, Council of the Day dealt with it. Um, and I'll have to say that you dealt with it in the only way you could. And unfortunately, um, some people have addictions that are very tough to deal with, but they have to be deal dealt with on a one off. But I think you have to realize looking around that table, you don't have that issue now. And if you do, you deal with it when the time comes. So your recommendation, um, CAO, is to leave the wording as is? I, I don't see any reason. I mean, you're all understanding that if you have using it as pain medication, you're fine. It's just that if it's excessive, then it's up to that individual to realize that they are either inebriated or, um, you know, beyond, I don't know what the word is, <laughs> terribly stoned <laughs> um, and maybe going to the meeting. But again, that's a matter of policing. And the council as a whole that decides uh, if further action would be taken. But I mean, it, it's not as if you're immediately going to toss them out of a meeting. You're going to take corrective action in one way or another, keeping in mind the person has an issue. OK, thank you. So it's a uh, recommended. No, we don't have anything to change. OK. Do you want to take a vote on that, on what Councillor Prashet suggested? We keep the wording, um, so the recommended resolution is to change the wording regardless Okay. Uh, recommended resolution to leave the wording the same. Motion, please. I'll move that. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Opposed. You want to change the wording? Is that that's OK? OK. Three opposed. Change the award. You might want to have a legal look at it. You can make a motion. Take a vote on it. Okay, so we have a motion to have legal look at the wording regarding intoxication from cannabis or alcohol. I'll move that. Second. I'll second that. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Seeing none, motion is carried. Okay, committee reports. That the committee of the whole receive and discuss the committee report and that the committee of the whole recommend to council to add this report to the strategic planning session that will be held in the spring of 2023. Do I have a motion, please? I'll move that. Second? I'll second that. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Seeing none, carried. Um, I'm not sure if this is the part where you should step out. Oh, I apologize. Sorry, I checked that off. Let's go back to D. Yes, I did. Okay, so we'll go to D. That recommended resolution that the committee of the whole be received by council, staff, and community recognition gift policy number 0902 staff report for information and discussion. And that the committee of the whole provide direction on the purchase of gifts for elected officials that were missed due to COVID-19. Do I have a motion, please? I'll move that. Discussion? Oh, pardon me. Second? I'll second that. Discussion. In the chart that you had on there, you're showing what the payouts are going to be. OK, there was a discrepancy on one. One was already given a check for 250 that was donated and it was for for 150 on the on the list. I have to be more specific under Joyce Ellis. 
chose 150 for a gift. Yeah, she already got a $250 that went, uh, you said that she donated to, um, was that a different thing? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, good clarification. Sorry, I thought it was regarding that. Okay, any other discussion? Councillor Polson? Yeah, no, we'll first finish this. This one doesn't affect, does it? Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Sorry, thank you. Councillor Polson is um, stepping out of the meeting for a conflict, perceived conflict of interest, declaring a conflict of interest. Okay. So um, again, on D, all in favor? Opposed? We already did all the other steps. We did the motion in the second. We proceed, that's correct. So yes, recommendation to council that we proceed. Okay. Um, committee report. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Sorry, before you go on, if you're still dealing with the um, gift thing, mm -hmm. um, this has to do with item F, but it's tied to the gift thing. Um, it's a little different though, isn't it? Yeah, but you know, I, I'm off having second thoughts. I was going to mention that the 250 that's uh, that was earmarked for uh, Mayor McDonald, um, that that would be put towards the purchase of the plaque. But I'm not sure, uh, frankly, I, I just don't know if that's something Sue would want. So I, I'm kind of hesitant to mention it. Um, but but if I may talk about the plaque item. So you want to jump to F? Yeah, this part is fairly fairly quick. Uh, I, I just want you to know that I've got a draft done uh, of the plaque and what's included on it. It basically is some verbiage, a picture of uh, Mayor John and the um, uh, Village of Sayward logo and the Air Force logo. Uh, I do know that the quote is 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 next step after Sue has given me the go ahead, but I do know the quote's going to be around the $2,500 mark to do that. I can look at ways and means of reducing it, um, but I think it's going to be around the $2,500 mark, and that's why I say that $250, if that could go towards it, uh, then we're basically halfway there. It's yeah, to me, it's two separate issues. Um, the the two hundred and fifty dollars is is separate from a memorial plaque honoring him. I mean, the two hundred and fifty dollars um, he can don't. I would assume John would probably donate it to, you know, one of the um, you know the kids cops for cancer or something like that. I don't agree with putting it in the pot. With the uh, the memorial plaque, I think that's two separate things altogether. Personally, but let's hop to F as soon as we complete E. So I don't get confused because it's easy to confuse me. So the recommended resolution is the committee of the whole receive and discuss. We already did that and the committee of the whole recommended council report strategic planning session held on spring of 2023 to have a motion, please. I'll move that. Thank you. Second. I'll second. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Seeing none. So the memorial plaque to me is a completely separate issue. Um, I realize it's going to be quite a bit more money than we anticipated, but considering what was done from the former mayor and the 12 years of service and the longest serving mayor, and that I don't personally have an issue with it. Um, thoughts around the table, Councillor Gilkin. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no um, no concerns over that. I um, no, I think I'm, I agree with that. Okay. Councillor Bouchette. Yeah, I think it's important to uh, distinguish service to your community, and and uh, I, I didn't know him personally, but uh, he's done a lot for this community. Councillor Tinsley. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I actually think that John would say kick it in there because I want to save money for the community, but I will vote for it. Thank you. Thank you. So it's um, so we have a motion to go ahead with a a new maximum of twenty five hundred dollars for the memorial plaque for former Mayor John McDonald, uh, which gives the staff direction and recommending that to council. Do I have a motion, please? I'll move that. Second. I'll second that. Further discussion? All in favor? Motion's passed. Uh, Mr. Mayor, um, again, I haven't got the final quote on it because uh, I haven't got, I didn't have all the <laughs> elements to talk to him. So um, I, I got a roughly 20 by 25 inch plaque and that's the cost they gave me. So um, I'm hoping it's around that amount. Um, the other little thing, um, under D, did you re recommend to pay out those amounts that hadn't been paid? Yes. Thank you. To the people. No, well, like gift gift cards. You gave um, one of them gift cards, so just gift cards across the board or whatever. Okay. We're good. Okay. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, new business. None. Question period. None. Nobody's online. Nobody's here. Um, in camera uh, for the community charter, section 90 1 for label relations. We're going to go in camera. Do I have a motion, please? I'll move that. Second? I'll second that. All in favor? All opposed? Seeing none, carried. Dane, call this meeting adjourned. Thank you. Okay, so.